I'd like to present to you three products on our cylindrical light emission family. This is the 1040. It's a smooth barreled 4 millimeter sen um, photoelectric sensor. This is the 1050. It's an M5 threaded photoelectric sensor. And this is the 0507. It's rectangular, 5 millimeters by 7 millimeters. One of the really cool things about the cylindrical emissions is you can actually mount this sensor embedded and still it works. Whereas no other sensor in the world can do this. The 1040s and 1050s are also available in through beam sensing up to 250 millimeters. You can see that it's just detecting right as I break the beam. I'm going to show you three sensors that can be used as an encoder application. Here's the 1040 diffuse. You'll notice the distance it is between the end of the sensor and the teeth. Here you have a very small inductive, uh, M3, and the distance it is between the gear teeth. And over here is an M8. With the M8, you get so close to both sides touching that sensor that you might get a false trip. Over here, if you have a piece of dirt come through, you might wipe out the end of the sensor. With this one, you're much further away, and this is also the only application that would also work against plastic gears. These diffuse sensors are particularly good at seeing small targets. This is salt. This is similar to the products I've shown you earlier. This is our rectangular 5 by 7 millimeter diffuse sensing. This setup right here is showing you the radial emissions and cylindrical light. This one is showing you the same sensor mounted directly onto something and it's still not picking that up. So it's just such a small light. This one is an inspection where I'm looking between the inner and outer races down at the individual bearings. With six choices of fiber optic amplifiers, we carry this cylindrical light in either an 04 or an M5 that has the ability to go 140 millimeters and utilize infrared light visible red light or visible blue light.